Hi guys, welcome to this Plumber Parts Co Coding UK video and a little bit of a new venue. Do you like my palettes? Do you like my fairy lights? This is a little bit of another midweek quickie. Just putting out a quick video on a Wednesday that hasn't like got loads of editing in it or anything like that. So it's nice and easy for me to do in an afternoon after I've finished work and just to have a little bit of a play around with the world of plumbing. Do you know what I mean? So what I'm going to do, we're just going to do a little bit of pipe bending. We're going to do a little bit of soldering. We're going to have a talk about the methods and then you're going to see actually what I'm creating because someone sent in a picture of a boot rack they've made, here it is. I was like, man, that is quality. So I'm gonna make something for myself that I'm gonna put up in the studio. So let's get on with it. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. And there's a few other things I wanna talk to you about as well that Amy are doing. Let's get on with this video. See you soon. And hold tight, yes. Meow, 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 meow. So hey guys, I literally have no idea how this is going to go, so I'm just going to get on with it, okay? So look guys, I'm going to tell you what I'm making now because it's pretty simple and I want to put it in the video description. I'm going to make myself a little YouTube play button out of Quapa. That's my plan. I'm still using the 22mm fluctuator. What we'll do, we'll do our long ones first. Let me just grab some fittings, back in two secs. Man, this is so unplanned. Um, let me just firstly, I need to grab a tape. Right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make the actual play arrow -y bit first. Let's make this quite, I'm gonna make this 25, 250 mil long, right? Use the old thumb, the old thumb trip, we all love that. So what I'm gonna have to do is I think I'm gonna have to just make a standard fitting, like an elbow -y fitting, there. I hope you like my new background as well. I just sort of had a Sunday morning a couple of weeks ago, um, and I thought I'm definitely gonna do that. And I know obviously my scrappies are next door, my boys that I've used for years, see if they've got any bits to, to do it with. But over the last couple of days, unfortunately, I've just been flat out on the site work. Um, and yeah, I'm just getting everything sorted there. My t fittings are just over there. I'll go and grab them in a minute. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make the end of my play bit. I'm just gonna solder this up now. Look, we've got quite a lot up here, haven't we? So I've got my wet rag. I've also got, as you all know, two of these bloody things. I mean, they just multiply. Thanks, Ridgens. Um, Ridgens are really kind to us, actually. They have donated a lot of the equipment that went into building my lovely studio, uh, which is very kind of them. So I'm just gonna get out my heat mat as well. I'm just gonna make sure my uh, my mark's in the right place. So let's get this first bit just done. Absolutely stonkingly hot at the moment. Oh, one thing I haven't got that we do need, my breath oil. Uh, we're gonna need that at the end to get an absolutely sensual finish. See, look, I got a little blobbington there. Sometimes, what you can do with a blobbington, a blobby booba. See, on that, right, to be honest, if I was on a job, I'd think that was acceptable. But because I'm doing this, I'm just gonna try and run that back into the fit in a bit. So just hold it up. You can hold your, your copper quite far away from, you know, where it's gonna actually go, if you know what I mean, the, the actual heat. There you go, it's running nice now, that has. So now we're cleared off there. Now, this is what I was, oh, I can't, look, everyone uses wire wool, but no one uses this type of wire wool, or not many do. And I was given the heads up about it, but I ain't gonna tell you which one it is, because if I do, they're gonna kill me. They, they literally swore me to secrecy, they're like, you can't tell anyone, mate. And I'm not the sort of guy who's gonna let a bro down, do you know what I mean? So look, nicely shined up now, and if you really wanted to, now you could probably get your brass heavy bit on it if you wanted, yeah. I'm just gonna give that, we give that a little paint up with the brasso. So this is my arrow bit. So what I need to do, I know that the YouTube arrow obviously is like a bit sort of narrower. Um, what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be really hard, this is. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'll bend it now here. So there we go, now we've got more of the YouTube arrow type bit. Yeah, you feeling that? I hope you are seeing that. Could be a bit more YouTube-y. Um, Oh man, fuck. Sorry, that was the missus. Fittings, let's get some more fittings. I don't know about you guys, how you carry yours, but I always carry my fittings in a little briefcase. I do have some reeds quite old. Oh, guys, this is really annoying me, this, this microphone today. So I've got some, yeah, pretty old fittings here that I'm not, I'm not really confident that I would use on an actual job. And I'm sure I had a couple of tees as well. I always seem to run out of tees. I don't know why. Right, so what would I do now to get this to work? So usually, I suppose what we'd do is we'd get, get like a fit in that would go down. We'd sort of pull that, wouldn't we? Get that, put it down to there. And then get that on a tee there, maybe? That might be our only hope. <laughs> Number 
one, there's a reason you don't use old fittings, okay? When you're trying to do this, that's an old tee there. You might have noticed as well, I didn't bother to clean out the inside of the tee either. All these are cardinal sins you should never make if you've been plumbing for ages, but because I'm just doing this for a bit of a laugh, guarantee this would not hold watertight because as you've seen, we've bent those fittings up, haven't we, real bad to, uh, to get them on there. So what we're gonna do is just gonna sort of get this cooled off a little bit. Then we've got our little play arrow then, ready to go on the outside bit, which I think is gonna be bending masterclass to actually get that to go on there okay. Um, yeah, it's not gonna be easy. Two secs, I'm just gonna get this watered up a bit. So we're getting sort of basics now. Let's just give it a bit of a clear off. Wow, so look. <laughs> so I've got my play button here, nice and shiny. Look, it does show that if you do a really bad bit of soldering like I did there with that old T, you can still salvage it if you've got some nice clean ways and methods. But believe me guys, this ain't gonna hold pressure. No, I ain't gonna hold pressure. One thing as well that I wanna tell you about, before we get onto this next sort of section, because I'm gonna be doing the, the round bit and then maybe a little stand or something like that, but AD are doing three points minimum for every Pro 2 filter that you guys register on the Pro Club throughout June. Get over there and have a look at that now. I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you're a pro installer of AD's filters, like the Magna Clean and stuff like that, get over to the Pro Club, sign in and just check that out, okay? So that's one for you engineers out there. Before we continue, I'm gonna clean my desk, my table area, because the next bit I'm gonna be doing is literally just bending. I think we just need to do them so we've got like a 90 and a 90, and that meets in the middle, because currently that's kind of what YouTube's thing is. They used to have this like curved top bit, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. I mean, that. That's the sort of bending you do when you've got a bit of pipe that's been laying in the back of the van for ages and it's had like a tool laid on it and it's sort of thawed like that, you know? You don't want it no more. So we've got our little bending guide, our little tape as well, uh, a couple of fittings that I'm not gonna put on the floor because I'll probably just lose them because I always do. We don't need our fluctuator for this. I think that it's gonna go sort of around like that, okay? That's what I'm thinking. I tell you what guys, if I could nail this in one bit, I will literally lose my mind. I'll be so happy. So we'll pull out one three meter length. I say if we just start, I'd say if we just start on there, I'm just gonna go and grab a pen. If I fall divided by two is 27. Right, so now we can just mark up exactly where we need to cut these back. Right, let's do this. Let's move the camera angle. I want you to see from overhead. All right, guys, well, so we're at that stage. Finishing stage, a finishing post. I'll just mark these up. Let's give these a little cut. Oh. Right, last little bit. So look at that, it's looking good, isn't it, guys? Get in there, but we need to do one last little bit, the creme de month. Right, we need a stand. So guys, to make a stand, what I'm gonna do, what I'm firstly gonna do is make sure that I've got it blanked at the end, but we'll do that in a sec. What we want to do is pull a nice tight bend that goes round in a little circle, then upward, okay? So it's a bit like, a bit like a balloon that's got some string on it, and it's half kind of floating, and the string is still coiled up on the ground, yeah? That's what we're aiming for. Right, so there's that done. Is it gonna stand up? That is the... That's the million dollar question. Righty ho, okay, well we'll see, won't we? Right, I've given it all a bit of a wire whirling down and now I'm gonna brasso the beast. That is the creme de month of the job. Well, there we go, guys. That was a right laugh, to be honest. It <laughs> took a little bit longer than I thought it would. But hey, I've had an absolute wicked time. Um, yeah, I mean, for a quick knock-up, that's pretty decent, isn't it? I'm definitely gonna have that up in the studio or back at home or wherever. Nice little bit of functional art, do you know what I mean? So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little wee, quick week, Wednesday beast, midweek quickie, or whatever you wanna call it. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button or find us at Plumber Parts on YouTube. YouTube. Follow us over on Instagram, that's where it's all going on. We put stories up about this, why we were there, and there'll be photos of this beast here on Instagram as well. And obviously follow us over on Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter as well. See you in the next video, guys, which is gonna be on Saturday. Remember everyone, to hold tight. See you soon.